Sairam children, how are you? Sairam ma'am, we are good. Yes. I'm very glad to hear that. I hope you are fully fit and fine and staying at home, not coming out. <laughs> yes ma'am. Yes, very good. Now, let us start today's class with three Omkarams. So please join your hands. Om. Om. Oh. Yes. Sairam children. Sairam. Now. Yes. Now, are you ready for the class? Yes, ma'am. Yes, very good. Now, what did we do in the last class? We did some exercises from the poem. Do you remember? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Now, uh, we have finished that poem. Now, let's get on further with the next story. Okay. Now, tell me something, children. Do you see birds around you? Yes, ma'am. Many. Yes. Can you name some of them? What birds you see around you? Ma'am, sparrow, mina, and uh, peacock also. Uh, there. Yes. And Wonderful. And parrots. Sorry, ma'am. Parrots. Yes, ma parrots. Yes. yes. Very good. Now, uh, if I ask you, do you know what is domestic animals? That means our pet animals or whatever we keep at our home. Those animals. Now, can you give example of one domestic bird? Parrot. Yes, very good. You give the right answer. Very good. It is. It can serve as a domestic animal also, a pet animal also. Okay. Now one yes. more example, maybe the hen. Okay. Yes. And we get eggs from them. And some people also eat the uh, chicken. Yes. Ma okay. And, yes. and so our next chapter is the story of a hen and two little chickens. Now, can you tell me what is chicken? Baby of hen. Yes. Very good. The cute little babies that come out of the eggs of the hen, they are called chickens. Okay. Now, would yes. you like to hear the story of two chickens? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Now let us begin. And for that, I need to present my screen. So please give me a minute. Yes. Can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Now let us begin. Unit 3. Okay. The name of the chapter is Lalu and Pilu. Okay. Now yes, I will yes. read the chapter and you will listen to me. After that, we shall read together. Now, okay, if you hear the word Lalu and Pilu, what comes to your mind? What are these names? Lalu means red or Pilu means yellow. Yes, excellent, wonderful. You said it correctly. These are indeed names of colors. It sounds like the names of colors. Lalu means red and Pilu means yellow. And you can see in the picture yes. two little chickens. One is red and one is yellow okay yes it is and a hindi name of colors yes and this is the mummy hen she is brown and white in color 
okay let us start now you listen to me later on when i tell you you can read after me okay lalu and pilu there was a hen ma'am can you zoom it little ha huh? oh. okay ma'am now it is visible okay it was a, a little small earlier yes ma'am okay. now it is visible okay okay if you have any problem you tell me that time okay yes ma'am okay let us start lalu and pilu there was a hen she had two chicks lalu and pilu lalu was red he loved red things pilu was yellow he loved yellow things one day lalu saw something on a plant it was red he ate it up oh no it was a red chili it was very hot lalu's mouth started burning he screamed mother hen came running pilu came to pilu said i'll get something for you pilu brought a yellow laddu Lalu gobbled up the laddu. His mouth stopped burning. Mother hen and Lalu kissed Pilu. Okay, did you hear the lesson? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now let us read it together. Yes, ma'am. Now I will read one line. You follow after me. there was a hen there was a hen yes she had two chicks she had two chicks yes lalu and pilu lalu and pilu yes lalu was red Lalu was red. He loved red things. He loved red things. Yes. Pilu was yellow. Pilu was yellow. He loved yellow things. He loved yellow things. One day, Lalu saw. One day. Lalu saw something on a plant. Something on a plant. It was red. It was red. He ate it up. He ate it up. Oh no. Oh no. It was a red chili. it was a red chili it was very hot it was very hot lalu's mouth started burning lalu's mouth started burning he screamed he screamed mother hen came running Mother hen came running. Pilu came too. Pilu came too. Pilu said. Pilu said. I'll get something for you. I'll get something for you. Pilu brought a yellow laddu. Pilu brought a yellow laddu. Lalu. Gobbled up the laddu. Lalu gobbled up the laddu. His mouth stopped burning. His mouth stopped burning. Mother hen and Lalu kissed Pilu. Mother hen and Lalu kissed Pilu. Yes, very good. We come to the end of this lesson. Thank Now, you, ma'am.
Yes, you read very well. Okay. Now, can you tell me what this story about? It is about two chicks, Lalu and Pilu. Yes. And what did Lalu do one day? He saw a red chili on a plant and ate it. But yes. as it was very hot, he screamed. Yes, his mouth was burning. So yes. he screamed. So did he knew when he was eating? Did he knew what it was? No, no, no. it was he was not knowing it. It is it was a red chili. Yes, he loved red things, and Pilu loved yellow things. So he was a small little chick, poor chick. He did not know what a red chili was, but he found it very attractive. So he ate it, but it was so hot. Do you know chilies are very hot? Yes, ma'am. I don't like it. Yes, red chili, green chili, they both are very hot, and that means you get a burning sensation in your mouth. Yeah, for a and, long time. Yes. And what when he screamed, what did Mother Hen do? Mother Hen and Pilu came running. Then yes. what Pilu said? He said, wait, I'll bring something for you. Yes, and what did he bring? He brought a yellow laddu. Yes, he loved yellow things. And you know, laddus are yellow color. So he and brought a laddu and gave it to Lalu. Yes, ma'am. And what did Lalu do with it? He gobbled up. Yes, he gobbled up. He ate it fully. And yes. after that, what happened? His burning sensation stopped. You know, our mothers and grandmothers also tell us that whenever we eat something hot, we can drink water or we can eat something sweet. Then the burning sensation goes away. This is a common practice. Okay. Yes. Here also that happened. Pilu gave the sweet laddu. Then when Lalu gobbled it up, his burning sensation from the red chili stopped. And yes. he was comfortable now. Then after yes. that, after that, in order to say thank you, what did Mother Hen and Lalu do? They kissed Lalu. Yes, both of them kissed Lalu, uh, Pilu, because he did yeah, a good yeah. job. He did a good job and he helped Lalu. Okay, yeah. so we should be like Pilu, helping others. Our brothers yeah. and sisters, siblings, as well as our friends and elders, we should be helpful like Pilu. Isn't yes, it? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Now we come to the end of the lesson and let us see a little bit of exercise. Now, see here, five chicks, can you see? Yes, four chicks I can see. Oh, there are five actually. Yes, wow. No, no, five actually. Oh, I zoomed five. It. Okay. Now, five. Now, yes, yes. Now, what does it say? Match the chicks to the eggs they have hatched from. Okay, I will tell you that. Uh, do you know that chicks hatch from the eggs? Yes. The mother hen gives the eggs, then the eggs hatch after some time, and from the egg, the cute little chickens come out. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Now, here what does it say? Match the chicks to the eggs they have hatched from. One has been done for you. Now, let us see. See, this is done for you already. These are the eggs, okay? This white color are the eggs. And here are the chicks. So, we have to tell which egg they hatched from. How can we tell? See? In their bodies, letters are written. Can you see here? A. Then this one is E. Next is I. Then this one is O. And this one is U. Can you see the letters in their bodies? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Very good. This is because 
D dash from the X. We have the same letters. Now we have to tell which X they hatch from. First one is done for you. See here, this E chicken has hatched from this E egg. Isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Now can you tell me where this A chicken has hatched from? Which number egg from here? Which number? Third number. Yes, very good. Correct. Indeed, it is hatched from this egg. Okay. Just a minute. Next one. This I chicken, where has it come from? The so which one? Yes, fourth one. One, two, three, four. This one. Correct. Now the next one. Where does this O chicken come from? Which Last number? one. Last one. Exactly. Very good. And this last blue chicken, where did it come from? Which number egg? Second one. Yes. So let's clap for you. You gave all the answers correctly. Let us check. Yeah. Yes, correctly. See. This A is from here, third egg. Then this I is from the fourth egg. O is from the fifth egg. And U is from the second egg. You said all correctly. Very good. Now, let us see. Can you see what are these? Can you tell me? We see. The yes, these are flowers. Very good. Now, we have to, what we have to do, you can do this for your homework. In your book, you can do it for your homework. You have to trace these. Okay? And you have to color the flowers like that. First one is written over here is the red rose. Okay, have you seen a red color rose? Yes, ma'am. So very nice. Yes. And how does it smell? Very nice. Very sweet. Yes, rose has a very sweet smell. So you can color this red. First you have to trace it with pencil, then you can color it in your textbook. Okay, ma'am. Then this next one is blue bells. So this is also a beautiful flower. And what color will you color it for? Or color it with light blue. blue. Yes, light blue. You will color it with. Okay. And the third one is a very famous flower. It is the yellow sunflower. So what color is this? Yellow. Yes, the petals on the side will be yellow and in the middle, this circular part will be brown color. Yes. Okay? Yes. So, one interesting thing I tell you, we get oil from this flower also. That is called sunflower oil. Yes, ma'am. Okay? My mother cooked with this oil. Okay, very good. I'm sure you must be happy to eat. Yes, ma'am. It is very yummy. Means yes. that this yes. is if my mother yes. cooks with this. Yes. So now let's read it. Red plus yellow is orange. You repeat after me. Red plus yellow is equal to orange. Yes. Okay. Now these will give you the mixed colors. Okay. You color it with wax crayon, then you already have the color. But mm. if you use watercolor, mm. you can use mix these two colors to get the right color. Here it is given the combination. So you yeah. can remember this, and next time you can make these colors to make a beautiful picture. So red plus yellow is orange. Next, red plus blue is purple. Red plus blue is purple. Yes. You can make purple color mixing red and blue color. Now the third is blue plus yellow is green. Blue plus yellow is green. 
Yes. And with all the color, if you add white, white color will make them light. So I yes. told you this blue bell is light blue. So suppose if you mix a white color with blue color, then it will become light blue. Yes. Any color you mix water with that, you will get a lighter color of that, lighter version of that. Isn't it interesting? Yes, ma'am. Yes, very good. Next time you color, just keep this in mind. We can play with this with colors like this. Yes, we can play with colors like this. Do you like to color? Yes, ma'am, so much. Okay, very good. Next time I'll give you a worksheet for coloring. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now let's come back to this. We have seen this five letters A E I O U written on this chicken. Now can you tell me what these are? Vowels. Yes, very good. In the last lesson also we did something on that. Do you remember I showed you on a palm in five fingers? Yes. A E I O U. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So you always remember that these are five vowels. A. Repeat. A. E. E. I. I. O. O. And U. U. Very good. Now the new word that we says over here. Let us read them. Now say after me, chicks. Chicks. Red chili. Red chili. Hot. Hot. Burning. Burning. Screamed. Screamed. Laddu. Laddu. Gobbled. Gobbled. And kissed. Kissed. Now we will come to the word meanings for them. Let's repeat after me. Chicks means baby hand. Chicks means baby hand. Yes, you already told me before. So, this is not new to you. Okay. Now, red chili, what is it? It is a vegetable or spice. Okay, ma'am. Say after me, it is a vegetable, vegetable or spice. Vegetable or spice. Yes, and you can see the picture over here. Can you see? Yes, ma'am. Yes, this is a very common picture in Indian country. Okay, Indian subcontinent is very common. But there are other places in the world where it is not easily available. Okay, when you grow up, you will learn about it. Okay. Hot. Yes. Hot, spicy. Hot, spicy. Yes, now I want to say a thing about this. We have heard the word hot already before. Hot and cold, isn't it? Right from LKG. Yes, ma'am. Yes, but here the meaning is little bit different. Here, hot does not mean anything that is heated up. Hot here means the taste. How the chili are, that taste is given by the personal topic. Okay? Here, the hot meaning is spicy actually. It is not the temperature of that. Okay? Whenever we eat the chili, we have a burning sensation, right? Just like Lalu, isn't it? Yes. So, so that is called also hot. So here in this lesson, the hot meaning is spicy. Okay. Will you remember that? Yes, ma'am. Excellent. So let's move on. Next is burning. Unpleasant sensation. I will explain to you what is this, okay? Burning means after eating the chili, you will have a burning sensation in your mouth, isn't it? Yes. Hindi, we can tell that no danger. When you eat anything hot, you have that sensation. It is not at all good. It is very unpleasant. Okay? Burning here means an unpleasant sensation. Right? Okay, next word is screamed. That means shouted. Repeat. Scream. Scream. Shouted. Shouted. Yes. Now next, 
You can see this yum yum. What picture is this? Pilandu. Yeah, this is a very common picture. So, Ladu is an Indian sweet. Repeat. What is Ladu? An Indian sweet. Ladu is an Indian sweet. Yes. Here, see. You can see the tasty plate of plate full of Ladus. What color is this? Yellow. Yellow orange. Yes, yellowish orange. Okay, now next is gobble. Gobbled. Eat hurriedly. Eat hurriedly. Yes, that means to eat up very fast. Not understanding what you're eating, just eat up. Anyhow, that is called gobble. Just yes. like Lalu did. Okay, next, yes. the last is kissed. A touch yes. of Huh. A touch of love or caress with lips. A touch of love or caress with lips. Yes. This your mother does to you, isn't it? Yes, yes she, mother and father. Yes. yes, mother and father does to you. They hug you and they kiss you on the forehead. Okay? Mm -hmm. That is called kissed. Just like mother hand and Pilu, uh, Lalu did to Pilu. So that's all for today. We come to the end of the presentation. I will stop sharing now. And I would like to ask you, how did you find today's lesson? Very interesting. Yes, very good. And we saw that how Lalu and Pilu came up with trouble and how they solved it, right? And yes. we can see the good-natured Pilu, how he helped his brother to overcome the situation. We, he was such a kind person and he helped his brother and in return, what did he get? He got the kiss from his mother and brother. So we also should be like that, helpful and we should help others. Do you help others? Yes, ma'am. Yes, very good. That's Madam, what I heard. I others. Yes, very good. That's what I heard about you and you should always be like that. Okay? Now, on this good note, let us end the class today with the Shanti part. Okay? Now, join your hands. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Sai down, children. Now we will meet in the next class. So, thank you, ma'am. Yes.